Hollywood. Greetings and salutations. I know I haven't made a video in about a week. It's been a week and a half. I think it was last Monday and today is Friday. Today's Friday, February 9th. I'm doing my empties video today and then I also have an unboxing that you'll either see tomorrow, Saturday the 10th or Sunday the 11th. What comes after 10? 11. That's right. This isn't the biggest empties video that you'll ever see, although I'm going to title it Massive humongous gargantuan empties because whenever I title the videos that they get better views I don't really know why. <laughs> anyway um I've been really busy I've been working at least five days a week uh outside of the house so it's really stupid for me to put wax in my warmers when only it's only the dog who's going to enjoy it um so I really haven't been warming so much wax you would think that after like a long day, sorry, this plane's going overhead. I'm in the LaGuardia flight path, just so you know, if you're familiar with New York at all. Anyway, um, it would be, it, it would make sense if I cleaned out the warmers specifically in my bedroom, cleaned out the warmers in the morning, and then when I got home from work, popped like three or four cubes into my bedroom warmers so that while I'm sitting there unwinding from the day on my bed with CBD and biofreeze on my back along with my tens machine and crying because i'm in physical pain and waiting for the leave to kick in because that's what it's kind of been every night <laughs> uh after like five or six clients of massage you would think that i i should put new wax into the warmers but it's just sort of like the last thing that i think of so this is i think it's been three weeks this since i've done a sensi empties video and usually in three weeks i could go through a little bit more than this but that's okay i also got through a brick whatever um but of course we're going to go through the non-wax first and i'm actually going to show you something that is non-sensi and you know me i don't i don't warm stuff that Sensi offers that I get from other companies. I don't, uh, you know what I mean? Like if, if Sensi offers it, I buy the Sensi version when it was dish soap, laundry, all that kind of stuff. Technically, Sensi doesn't have perfume right now. Um, but their fragrance mist wasn't the strongest thing in the world anyway. So I'm going to start including my perfume empties, which are few and far between. When I fall in love with the perfume, I use it to death. I use perfume literally every day. But I only use it like once in the morning, specifically because of my job. I can't really load up on like heavy fragrances the way that I would love to if I had an office job. But I don't have an office job and I can't really walk into a spa smelling like a whore, although I'd love to. Not really a whore. My personal preferences in perfume are vanilla, Elang Elang, jasmine, musk, amber, deep, almost... I was going to say transsexual, <laughs> almost metrosexual fragrances, almost like they could be manly, they could be feminine, whatever. Apple, love that. Anyway, I ended up snagging this for 22 bucks. Now, this is a $44 bottle of perfume. Now, I know that $44 doesn't sound like a lot, but this is small. And this is a very good company called Clean Classic, okay? Um, when I saw this, I bought this uh, three years ago on Prime Day, two and a half years ago, something like that, on Prime Day. And when I saw this, I snagged it because it was only 22 bucks. You can get this on Amazon right now for like 44 or 45 So it was literally half price. So I was really happy about that. Um, but I have bought from this company before. And when I saw it, I snagged it. Now, the description, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because if you really like clothesline and you really want to smell like clothesline, get this it smells a lot like clothesline not like scentsy clean but really like linen but it's so effing strong that it's literally one squirt on your neck one squirt on your wrists and that is it it is really super strong um it's called clean classic warm cotton and it's completely clear 
Uh, it's not, you know, there's no color to the perfume or anything. It, it, the description is inspired by the comforting scent of newly laundered cotton sheets straight from the dryer. This fan favorite fragrance is the essence of freshness and comfort all in one, blending fresh citrus notes with cozy amber and musk. Bright floral notes heighten the clean sheets feeling. I don't really smell musk. I don't really smell citrus from the minute. I mean, I, I've used stuff from this line before, but never this one. From the minute I smelled it for the first time, I said, oh, that smells like clothesline. Um, now, I don't really like to warm my house with clothesline, but I'd love to use clothesline in the, in the uh, laundry stuff because I like to smell like clothesline. I just don't want my house. It's so heady. It's so thick, you know? So this is the same kind of heady, thick thing. That's why you just use a squirt. That's why it took me two and a half years to get through it. Okay, so now I'm going to throw that out. I have another one that's coming that my mother bought me from Bath & Body Works. I would never buy from Bath & Body Works, but my mother bought it for me to actually what is it called? Cashmere sweater, I think it's called. Anyway, oh my God, I'm blowing through that one. All right, so that's the only thing here that is not scentsy, but we are going to go through the stuff that is not Max. And of course, this is my last thing of cotton cleanups. I finished it about two or three weeks ago. Um, as some of you might know, and if you don't know, this is information for you. They have discontinued this size of cotton cleanup. The diameter of it was like a, like, like a Coke can. It was kind of large, you know, like that. Um, and it soaked up six cubes of wax. I don't know how you would equate that to brick cubes, but it's six of these cubes of wax. Um, and that's if like you, after you, you did like four or five cubes, you put it on its side, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I could get six cubes of wax with this, but now they have reformulated them redesign them saying that they're more cost effective which I doubt I seriously doubt that anything is going to actually give us better performance and cost less money <laughs> in this day and age I just paid seven dollars for mayonnaise anyway um they say that they've redesigned them so that they're more cost effective and they can be used in the mini warmers now I didn't have a problem using mine in mini warmers I just put it on its side it really wasn't that big of a deal. I don't think it needed to be reformulated. That's why I think it's bullshit that they're saying that it's more cost effective. It's going to save the money and they're going to quote unquote charge less, but it's going to cost even less for them to produce them, right? Okay. Um, we have a fall into love wash whiffs. This is my last one. Like I told you, I've got the wax right there and we'll just talk about that right now. Um, the fall into love wax was great. In fact, it's going in my kid's room right now. It's very fresh. I hadn't changed his wax out in a couple weeks, so I wanted something fresh in there. It's described as fresh orange peel and, and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam. I'm going to try to slow down. I apologize. I know. My New York gets going, and I just can't. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm walking like I'm walking down Fifth Avenue, and I can't. I have to relax with my diction. Fall into Love is great in the wax. I didn't really like it so much in the laundry. Um, the laundry liquid, you can't really smell anything in the laundry liquid, but then the, you, you, you get the, the, you know, the one-two punch with the, with the washer whiffs. Only okay. Didn't think it was also great. Arctic Kiss. I think you guys saw the other two of these in the last empties video. Arctic Kiss, did I get the fragrance on that? Yeah, I did. Cool Arctic Mint and Fresh Air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. I love this. I don't remember warming it. I don't remember warming it in the wax, um, but I loved it in the laundry. And um, yeah, I don't think this is, this is coming up is not available anymore. I don't know, whatever. Hello Water and Cucumber Laundry Liquid. I have no idea why I have this. I must have picked it up in a flash sale or something. I must have. I don't remember for the life of me. Because Aloe Water and Cucumber is not my favorite fragrance in the world whatsoever. Aloe Water, Cucumber, Palm Frond, Pineapple Nectar. I don't like any of those fragrances. When Aloe Water and Cucumber first came out, I sold a shit ton of it. Um, because people were just dying for those spa fragrances. And they still are, I guess. Whatever. Um, but this one just never sat right in my nose. It reminded me of cucumber and cact no, cactus, what's the green one? The one that smells like pickles. Cactus, you guys are screaming it at me. You know what I'm talking about. It's kind of the same color as this. Um, shit, <laughs> it smells like pickles. Anyway, this one uh, reminded me of that too. And it's the cucumber. I think it's the cucumber. 
Interestingly, I have, I, I went through a phase about two months ago where anytime I made a sandwich, I put cucumber slices on my sandwich. It was lovely, but I could taste it for hours afterwards. Does anybody else get heartburn from cucumber? I don't know what it is. It's crazy. Anyway, that was a laundry liquid that I finished. By the way, I have, I told you I have an unboxing to do, which is like the best unboxing ever because it's all the new stuff. If you are a Scentsy consultant on February 1st at 4 o'clock in the morning, you are allowed to buy all the new things. So that box is over there and I'm going to be unboxing it. Anyway, and then I also, and oh, oh, I bought a three pack of laundry liquid. Anyway, uh, laundry liquid in fluffy fleece, black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I love this fragrance in the laundry, not so much in the wax. The wax was a brick in the holiday 2021 or 2022, can't remember, don't care, um, season of bricks before the bricks, before the holiday bricks looked like this ridiculous thing. Um, liked it a lot in the brick, but then got burnt out. So now I don't really like that wax anymore. I think I have one bar of it in my stash and it's just gonna kind of stay there. And maybe get stronger. Anyway, Velvet Moon, this scent circle was the 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 last what do you say the nail in the coffin for velvet moon i have been trying to love velvet moon i have been trying i can't this scent circle was useless <laughs> soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist absolutely useless smelled nothing okay polar bear hug Absolutely love this. Seriously considering uh, buying a couple of these room sprays. The room sprays kind of last forever. Now the room sprays are gonna be reformulated next year and I also don't have any guarantee that Polar Bear Hug is gonna come back next year. Although it does come back every year. I think there was one year that it didn't come back anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna buy two more of these before two or three even because this is so great in the bathroom. It's just perfumey enough. It's just fresh enough to be perfect in the bathroom. It is described as blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. You wouldn't think that that goes in a bathroom. And you would think that Polar Bear Hug had a little bit of minty thing. It doesn't have a minty thing. It's really nice. I really like it. Tahitian Twilight. This was another nail in the coffin of another fragrance. This was a scent of the month for, I don't know, a, a year or two ago. Whatever. And I tried to like it so much. I went through three bars of it. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to break into the room spray because even though these bars of wax suck ass, I have a feeling that this room spray is going to be great. And it's not. First of all, it's dented. That's not their fault. Whatever. Uh, Tahitian Twilight is described as coastal. Listen to this metalcomon fragrance. Coastal waters, passion flower, pineapple, and white woods. And I'm thinking it's going to smell like plum and white woods, right? Bullshit. This sucks. Anyway, never again. And last thing that is not wax is this cashmere leaves flower that lasted forever. As you guys know, this was available, I think, September 1st, and I snagged one, and then they went sold out, like, immediately. Because uh, this was in the Harvest Collection. I love this style of flower, and this style of flower is coming back in the catalog now on March 1st, which is great. Instead of calling it the sunflower fragrance flower, they're calling it something else. I don't remember, whatever. Um, and this fragrance is very good. Delicate falling leaves brush, brush crisp apple with cashmere spice. So it had, yeah, it's, it's falling apart a little bit. It was very apple. It was a lot more apple than I thought it was going to be. Cashmere Leaves is the name of the fragrance, but then it's it's one of the more apple fragrances that you've ever smelled. And then it's got that just a little bit of spice. It's not too cinnamony. I loved this fragrance flower. It lasted forever. Even after it dried out and is falling apart inside this thing, right? It still emitted a lot of fragrance. And even though it's in this double zipped bag, I can still smell it but it's falling apart and I don't want it to make a mess on my counter. So in the garbage it goes. I did keep it out for a very long time. I kept it out on my counter until it started to fall apart. But then I was afraid that as those leaves fall onto the wood, I didn't want it to like ruin my counter or anything like that. So let me move this a little bit. Okay. So I did these alphabetical except for this one. Let's just get rid of it because this one kind of pissed me off towards the end. Not that there's anything wrong with this fragrance, but I ended up having to mix it because I was getting sick of it. 
Um, I, should, I really need to stop buying bricks. The only reason why I get the bricks is because I want them. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. I want it earlier than if I get a Scentsy Club. I need to start opening and closing clubs. That's what I need to do. I know that everybody does that, whatever. Anyway, it was kind of not the easiest brick to cut up. I don't really like these Christmas trees. I like the other brick, especially because it's less wax and it's the same price. Orange spice and everything nice is described as orange tea, mulled spices, and vanilla bean. I loved it. It wasn't just, it says orange spice and everything nice, but it's orange tea. It's really a black tea fragrance. I mixed it with stuff. I mixed, oh my God, I mixed it with amaretto. It was so good mixed with amaretto because amaretto is almost like a coffee fragrance. Almost. Because you could put amaretto in coffee. And this was tea. Fantastic. So I'm going to throw that out. And let's just jump into these individual little wax bars. Amaretto was a favorite. Did I put it in my Scentsy Club? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If I didn't, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Amaretto... I don't know if it's ever going to come back because I've been a scenting consultant for almost 10 years. And this was the first time it was ever available to me. So Amaretto is described as an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. This was straight up marzipan. My husband liked it. It was perfect when you put three or four cubes in your kitchen and then you brew a pot of coffee. Amazing. Loved it. Okay. Um, Awakening. Tried it a couple times. Didn't like it. I thought I was going to love it just from the scent description. And then when I opened up the clamshell for the first time, I loved it. But no, white peach and vanilla, pineapple and amber. Hi, that's a great fragrance on paper. But I got very little performance out of this. I ended up mixing it with very, very strong wax. And then all I could smell is the strong wax. Blood orange spice. Now those three that you just saw were in the Bring Back My Bar, right? I was going through a lot of the Bring Back My Bars. Blood Orange Spice. This was an older bar. It doesn't have the indentations on the bottom. It is not. It doesn't have a Bring Back My Bar sticker. This was from when it was in the catalog, uh, probably three or four years ago. Blood Orange Spice is uh, candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick. This was very strong, but it was because it was old. It took over everything. I tried to mix it also with the with the orange spice and everything nice. This took over everything. This was very good. Um. I didn't put it in my Scentsy Club because I don't feel like this isn't in my wheelhouse. Even though I liked it, there was nothing that I didn't like about it. The strength was there. The scent notes are great. But for some reason, it's just not something that I would gravitate towards unless it was like the perfect autumn day. You know what I mean? Chamomile Daisy. Um, this was a gift and somebody gave me, they gifted me like two or three of them. There's another uh, Scentsy Consultant's name in there. Um, this is very good. This is a perfect bedroom fragrance and a perfect bathroom fragrance. In the kitchen, in the living room, not quite so much. Chamomile Daisy is bright lemon zest, chamomile flowers, and fresh picked daisy. It's from the Life's a Garden Wax Collection, which I really liked. I ended up not putting any of them into my Scentsy Club, but wasn't there a strawberry basil in there? I think it was strawberry basil. Anyway... This is very good. It's very sharp. The daisy is there. If you know fresh cut daisies or beach daisy, this is in the same realm. Daisy is a very prominent fragrance. So when you add it to other stuff, you, it kind of drowns out everything else, especially because chamomile in itself is kind of pale. So anyway, I like this a lot. I'm going to start warming this with like because I have two or three other bars of it now. Um, something uh, like warm and sweet. Anything here? I probably would warm this with Plum and White Woods. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that yet. Cinnamon. People were shitting on this left and right. I was like, really? Oh, there's nothing wrong with this. I love it so much. It is definitely like dentine gum mixed with like or big red you know like big red gum mixed with green extra gum <laughs> this is so good at a bathroom i warmed it in my living room once i mixed it with that christmas cottage mint and that was really good that was a great mixer but then the other two times i warmed it because i only had eight cubes the other two times i warmed it i warmed it in my bathroom and it was so great in the bathroom lasted two or three days 
complemented the energy in the bathroom. Obviously, you want something fresh and crisp in the bathroom. You don't want, like, you know, fucking amaretto or something like that. Anyway, um, I loved it. Not enough to put it in my club, but cinnamon. If it was still, you know, if it came back in, like, you know, the catalog, which it won't, but if it ever came back in the catalog, I would enjoy that, okay? Confetti Showers was part of the Mardi Gras collection, still available. Um, yeah. Sparkling citrus whirls around black currant and a hint of peach. It was okay. Just okay. Confetti showers. The Mardi Gras collection, I think you can buy them individually. I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have a problem with people correcting me. Midnight Masquerade is fantastic. If I had to club one of the five, this is my favorite. Midnight Masquerade is described as sugared beignets, smoky vanilla, and midnight lily. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a bakery fragrance, but you know, that lily eventually did come out. I had to warm it twice to smell the lily. And now in the now that I open the clamshell, I do smell the lily. But when I first warmed it, it was all the beignets. It was like burnt sugar, but not obnoxious, like that spun sugar fragrance from that other collection. You know, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I know that you do. I ended up mixing this one with this and that was nice okay so midnight masquerade should i buy another bar <sighs> maybe maybe but i also mixed it with street parade which was really nice street parade is blood orange juicy plum and golden pineapple so the fruitiness of this mixed with the you know, the bakery, the sweetness of the other thing. And it was really nice. It was almost like if you had beignets, but then you like drizzled like a compote on top. Mm. Street Parade was nice. It, the, the pineapple was just enough pineapple, which you, pineapple is usually not my favorite thing in the world, but mm, liked it a lot. Okay. I shat on Perfectly Cute on my... TikTok slash YouTube short slash Instagram stories. And people commented and said, what are you talking about? That's the best one. And I'm like, well, I'm glad that you liked it because that's the one that came in the, you know, the fragrance flower bouquet, right? For $35. No, I didn't get it. You know why I didn't get the fragrance flower bouquet? Because first of all, I don't really like this fragrance so much. And secondly, when those ropes were down in that red oil, it looked like intestines. <laughs> I'm not alone in thinking this. Anyway, perfectly cute is... Uh, described as golden pear, whipped vanilla, and a spritz of apricot blossom. It was very apricot. It felt like it was more peach and apricot than pear. Um, I just thought that this was this fragrance was so boring, and I didn't really smell it very strong. So whatever. Pink tulips. I think I just talked about this the other day. I think I'm going through. I'm trying to work through my my stash of stuff. Pink tulips is crisp apple, juicy raspberries, and a hint of night blooming jasmine. I love night blooming jasmine. This is one of my favorite fragrances. Love it so much. I did have it in my Scentsy Club, but I think I took it out. Plum and White Woods. Love this. Love, love, love. Raspberry Preserves. Damn some plum. Vanilla. So good. Love the vanilla in this. Love the plum in this. Very feminine fragrance. Simply the Zest. Notes of sandalwood and lush greens uplift bright tropical fruits. I mixed this, and if you're if you are following me on social media other than YouTube, whatever, um, you know that I mixed this with Scarlet Woods. Two of these with one cube of Scarlet Woods was lovely. It was very strong. The Scarlet Woods takes over everything. I probably would have done three of these, three cubes of this, and then one of Scarlet Woods. But the citrus in Simply the Zest, the little bit of citrus that's in here kind of complemented the red berry of Scarlet Woods. Very nice. Strawberry Sweetie, Sweetie was a big old pain in the ass. Waste of time. A fruity delight of, I shouldn't say pain in the ass. It wasn't a pain in the ass. It was just so not there. I'm like, I want my $6 back. Strawberry Sweetie is described as a fruity delight of juicy strawberries sprinkled with sugar. And that's what it is. It doesn't pretend to be anything that it's not, but I don't think it's worth six bucks. There are much better strawberry fragrances out there. This is a waste of my time. Sugar strawberry is fantastic. Vanilla walnut I liked very much, and I'm pretty sure I put it in my Scentsy Club. I, I had originally told you that this was new to me, and it was not. And I didn't remember that until I actually put it into my warmers. And then I went, oh, I remember you. <laughs> You're fantastic. 
In fact, you mix this bitch with amaretto, you're set for days. A warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. I love this. It's, it's not a bakery, it's a gourmand. Love it. Last but not least was probably my least favorite out of the whole bunch of these waxes. Toasted apple butter. Creamy butter blended with ripe, ripe apples and accented with rich spices. This was all butter and spice to me. Uh, this smelled like um, like cinnamon rolls. And for some people that's fine. For me that was not fine. I didn't smell, I don't smell a lot of apple at all. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So toasted apple butter can eat my ass. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. There, There's my empties and I have all the descriptions and of course all the descriptions will be in the description box below this video if you would like to. I wouldn't be mad at you if you liked the video and maybe shared it with your friends. Um, you could turn on the notifications so that you get a notification every time I uh, post anything, including my daily shorts. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Subscribe and um, yeah, look for my unboxing, which I have all 10 new fragrances. And I also have uh, Shamrock Splash and I also have something rainbow, blah, blah, blah. And I also have the Easter collection. So stay tuned for my next video, which will either be tomorrow or the next day. Bye-bye.